Hey there, it's Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. Thanks for stopping by today as we talk about the Soho 72 pencil set right now. So we're going to cover a lot of ground today quickly, so um, buckle up. All right, so Soho, uh, made by Create a Color or in cooperation with Create a Color, which is a high-end pencil manufacturer. They do some other art supplies as well as pastels and some other things. Um, they're based in Austria. Uh, so um, usually when you see something associated with them, you expect pretty high quality. Um, one of the issues I have with this is that on the back, um, it says, uh, made in cooperation with Creative Color, one of the world's oldest and most respected pencil manufacturers to our specification. I hope that that leads one to believe that they're actually made by Creative Color uh, in Austria. That'd be great, but it's not clear. It doesn't say made in Austria. Austria is stamped on the pencil, but um, I can't get anybody to uh, uh, verify or return my emails on this topic. I'll keep trying, but um, I'd like to verify that they are actually, in fact, made in Austria. That'd be nice to know. Um, so here's the colors that you get in the set and you get a lot of them. Unlike some of the other pen pencil manufacturers like Faber-Castell or Caran d'Ache or others who manufacture 120 pencils in a line, um, Soho only offers the 72 uh, colors, which is, is fine. It's good. It's plenty. And it's probably all that uh, most uh, beginner or intermediate artists will ever need. Um, but they also sell them in sets of 12, 24, 36, and 72, like this set here. It comes in a tin, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, also, this has uh, got the nice 3.8 millimeter um, lead uh, in a uh, basswood uh, casing, so that's good as well. Um, so let's look at the pencils themselves now. I'm going to tip the camera down forward so you can see the tin itself and what's in its contents. So this is about 3 quarters inch thick. I flip it open. It comes in two trays. This tray is on top and there's another tray underneath and I'll pull these pencils out and show you. The tray itself is a little flimsy. It's very thin plastic, but hey, you're not, um, you're, you're actually saving some money with this pencil set and I'll talk about that in a minute. Here's the blues, the violets, the reds, oranges. You get into the greens and the browns and some of the grays. There's a nice black here as well. And I test it out. Uh, quite a number of these pencils and also did a drawing which I'll show you in a second but again they're um, marked Austria right here on the pencil as you can see they come with that nice big fat 3.8 millimeter lead with that basswood casing it's very nice um, I like the thicker leads because they're just handy and you can get a greater angle and thing like things like that um, they tend not to snap all right, so let's get right into the, uh, I'll put this back on here and let's get right into the characteristics of these pencils. So I took a sampling here and laid down some color, as you can see. Now on some of these, I already tried to do a little bit of erasing. So right here and here, you can see that. And I'll try some more. But um, the color came out pretty good. The colors are not as vibrant as I had hoped they would be, so that was a problem. But otherwise, the color uh, laid down nice and easy. Um, there was some waxing and blooming when I um, when I did some blending and burnishing, but I'll show you that in a second. So let's get right down to the kind of erasing here. So I'll try this Naples yellow here. Not too bad. Try a darker color like this turquoise. I'm not rubbing overly hard, but that's not great. Uh, it's okay, fine, good enough. Um, we'll try this orange, which is a brighter color. And there you go, not too bad. All right, so let me try to show you some of the sharpening here. I'm gonna grab a duller pencil. Let me find one, here we go, there's a yellow one. All right. So you can see this yellow pencil's got some use to it. And what I mostly look for when I sharpen the pencil is to see if I get some, um, you know, chipping on the lead or anything like that. And these don't seem to have that problem. They're sharpen up quite nicely. And you can see they're a nice sharp point. No chipping on that basswood, which is excellent. That's what you want to see. So good there. 
I'll move that aside and then we'll get to this, this drawing I did. All right. So this is a drawing I did using these pencils and now if you look at it, you know I've had a couple people go, hey are those uh, peaches or apples? Well they're supposed to be apples and you notice they kind of look like peaches and that's because the colors are kind of muted. They're not as vibrant so this wasn't intentional. I wasn't trying to mute this color intentionally. This kind of just came out muted so the pencils aren't as vibrant. And here you can see some of that blooming problem I had or the you know it was getting tough to get the colors as dark as say right here. So so that was an issue. Anyway overall I give the, the pencils kind of a, a C plus or a B minus. I'd say that the quality is good but it's probably high student grade or low artist grade not quite uh, not quite up to um, like a Karen Dosh or a Faber Castell but again you're not going to pay as much for these pencils so this is more in line with like say a Prismacolors pricing so I got this set I believe from uh, Jerry's Artorama for around 50 bucks or so and then they also sent me like uh, some promotional items that I think they just send to everybody but a big kind of art bag um, that was cool and some kind of a pencil holder so um, might, must have been part of a promotion but paid next to nothing for the shipping as well so that was a good deal so overall um, you know like I said a C plus or a B minus on these um, and it would be better if they just clarified here if Soho were to clarify hey these are actually made by Create a Color at the factory in Austria maybe that's more obvious and I'm thinking this thing uh, through too hard but but there you go the Soho Urban Artist 72 pencil set uh, made in cooperation with Create a Color of Austria this is Marty from OwingsArt.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you get some time to draw today.